Hello everyone and welcome to episode 11 of Hearthstone Top Decks, hosted by HearthstoneChampion.com. I am ProXBar706 and today we're going to be taking a look at Mech Shaman. This list is something that I got off of Hearthstone. It's just a Mech Shaman has a few interchangeable cards where you could choose to use like Fell Reavers in a 4 drop slot. I don't, not a fan of that card. Really I feel like it's pretty weak overall. It's very situational. In aggro matchups, it's almost a guaranteed loss. So I've replaced the, one of the Fell Reavers in the original list with Fireguard Destroyer. I feel like it's a much stronger four-drop body. It's a lot more consistent and doesn't risk milling your entire deck out, <laughs> essentially. Um, we run some of the key Shaman cards, such as Earthshock and Flame Tongue Totem, as well as the uh, Fire Elementals, which are just a key Shaman card. We run one Doomhammer for the potential... Uh, just solid, consistent damage, and then you can combo that with Rock Bite or Weapon if you get the chance for a 10 damage turn. Um, there's a lot of bursts in this deck. Lava Burst, so cleverly named. Three mana, deal five damage. A great finisher card if you need it. Or board removal, a creature removal, m removal sorry, in a uh, desperate situation. The deck's pretty self-explanatory. Other than that, we just have some good solid cards that synergize well together. In particular, Power Mace, three drop, three two weapon. Death Rattle, give a random friendly mech, plus two, plus two. Synergizes very well with the pull idea of using the mechs together so without further ado guys we'll jump right into the game okay guys in our first game we're going up against a priest right off the bat this is a pretty nice opening hand i might even just keep the fire guard here we have a mech warper to get a cheap spider tank out on turn two i think we are just going to coin into it i'm gonna bet he is not running shadow word pains Okay, he is running Mind Vision though, so all bets are off, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still gonna do it. I think it's the tempo that you create from it is potentially really strong. I'm trying to think of what. There's nothing on turn two he could have played from my hand except for Mech Warp, unless he got that. Or he could have got my coin, too. That's what you risk uh, playing the Mind Vision turn one, honestly, is getting the coin. Okay, so he ended up pulling my Mech Warper. No big deal. I think the proper thing to do is just spider take and go face, though. We can clear that if we really feel the need to. I doubt he's running mechs as well. Turn 3, Mechanical Yeti is pretty strong. I think turn 4, Fire Guard Destroyer is better than the Power Mace. Actually, Power Mace next turn may, just, may be really good. Yeah, Power Mace is definitely right. We can protect our board from his creature. We sacrifice a little bit of tempo, maybe, but we're going to get that 2-2 buff on one of these guys, so... And it allows us to clear a certain four drop minions if he's running them without sacrificing any board, board presence. Oh, the Shadow Madness. Alright, so he's just going to wreck that right into my three. That's fine. Uh, Power Mace is still pretty good to pop here. Puts that up to a 5 4. Just put it in Shadow Word Death Range, but so will anything else I play. I'm just going to do it. I don't know why I like the Shredder better than the than the Yeti there. I just feel like it's a stickier minion. Less stuff he could do. One thing it did, it did put this out of Shadow Madness range if he happened to have both of them. That, that made that a pretty good play. I'm fine if he deaths that. I have way more important targets to death later on. Well, potentially. You want to save these things? What the hell is this? Alright, we'll go with it. Oh, wow. How much damage is that? Eight. Ten. We could put him to really low. We shouldn't do it, though. Hmm. I am going to do this. And this. And tote him up. Kill that. And then just face. That's a safer play, anyway. The volume is really loud, I feel like. I don't know. We'll turn that down a smidge. He's at six. He's pretty much dead. There's really not a whole lot he could do. Uh, this is a pretty good example of what the deck's supposed to do. You get your mech warper out and do an early spider tank. It was pretty perfect, actually. A holy fire. So he's not actually dead yet. Oh, yeah, he is. Okay, well, that was a fast game one. Uh, we'll just jump right on into game two then. 
Okay, we get the Warlock matchup here in game two. Got a Rock Biter weapon. Gonna be potentially good early. Spider Tank's not a bad keep. I think we dropped the Shredder. Okay. Well, there you go. There, that, that's really good. That's really good. That gives us a, uh, a really good turn. Okay, I don't know if he'll trade into the Mech Warp. He probably would. I don't think this is necessarily wrong. I, can fix anything. I don't know. He hit himself for three, basically, and I took three from it, so. It's like that priest card, the 2 1 deal 3 damage to both heroes. Alright, he's gonna drop his Haunted Creeper. Spider Tank is probably stronger, but we could have a. We could do the. I think Spider Tank is actually way better. Puts more pressure on him, and it prevents him from tapping down as much if we can get him low. All right, that's pretty good. Get in there and fight, man. Oh wow, that was really good. So this is just straight up zoo. No surprises there. We actually do not run lightning storms in this deck either. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna fire guard here. Do I want to buff up this guy and kill his wolf? Shredder. Zoo is going to be a tough matchup in the sense that we have to so. control the board. Okay, well, I don't know why. Sorry, that's not that good. It's okay. We don't have the ability to control the board enough against Zoo to protect our whirling zappomatics for the burst. Oh, that was a slight misplay on his part. Well, he missed out on one damage. I don't know that it was necessarily a misplay. Okay. I don't know how good that taunt actually was for him. I was hoping for a spell damage totem there. I'm just gonna load the board up. And if he decides to spend his turn trading, I think that's beneficial for me in the future. I could have earth shocked the egg, which might have been good. I don't know how much of a difference it's gonna make, it just depends. Uh, okay. Let's see if he just decides to go face. Through master. Okay, we're pretty low. This guy had a pretty good start. Okay, we can still silence the egg, luckily. We kill the 4-4 that way. I should have totemed first. But I, well, no, I shouldn't have because I want to play... I might want to play this guy, depending on what I can get here. Okay, so we got board back in a pretty big way. So we got a high roll on the fire guard there. That's good. We only have one overload next turn. We have the uh, the lava burst if we need it to clear another four health minion. Hey, I don't think they run much five health minions, but Doom Guard's pretty bad for us. I don't understand why he wouldn't kill one of these unless he thinks he's really going to kill me in a few turns. I don't know what his hand is. Okay. He's trying to burst me down really quickly. Gonna go all in. It's gonna be close. Uh, he can't Doom Guard Power Overwhelming because he'll discard. Um, I think I'm actually okay. I think I win. Unless he can kill me this turn. Yeah. I don't know what he was thinking. GG. Yeah, I mean, okay, so we stabilized and we were able to. We, we made the right plays enough to stabilize and. There's board and survive. All right. Without further ado, we'll jump right into the third and final game. All right, everyone. 
We're playing against a warlock in our third game, and his name is Legend is Me. I don't know if he's actually Legend. Okay, so this is potentially amazing. If it's like Handlock, we're going to get him pretty low pretty fast. How greedy is it? It's extremely greedy, because it's probably Zoo, and he's probably going to play minions that could kill the Zapomatic, but... We're going to go for it anyway, because the other game was kind of boring. Greetings, friend. This could be I huge. You. The 12 damage turn three. Oh god, he didn't play anything. Job done. Oh, please don't kill it. Let's let's go. Don't kill it, don't kill it. Oh, what's the three drop? Don't kill it. Oh, dude, we're gonna get it. Oh, man. This is gonna be huge. I ain't even mad. 16 damage. That's there's no way. There's no way we just don't don't just win, right? That's insane. That's so good. Put this apple on your head. Okay. However, well, no, that doesn't make any sense. Get in there. What? Okay, I was about to say. But what was the point of that? I guess just get a knife off, I guess. You gotta silence that. Just because it could pop the divine shield for free. You can use his minion. There's gonna be a lot of people that say that was wrong because it probably was. Dark bomb? Probably dark bomb. I think it's smarter to dark bomb that. Oh, implosion. Low roll. Low roll. Damn. At least we got rid of the knife juggler. You didn't get nearly as much value. Okay. Power mace. Totem. Fire guard's better. Oh, a high roll again. Let's go. RNG is on our side tonight. And we got a high crackle two games ago. I noticed that we hit him for seven. We had spell damage, though. Yeah, who we get? It's still the highest, I think. Wow, how lucky. We actually have no AoE either. Don't be sorry, bro. I'm still going to win. I'm gonna wait and guarantee buff that. Let's see what he does here. He's gonna tap, put himself a nine. That's kind of risky. Oh, what? What? The Swampoos? I don't even know what to say. That was really good. Well, not, I don't know how good it was. He didn't have to do anything special. Running that was a good idea, I suppose. Okay, he's at nine. I mean, we got cards that could take care of this. Unfortunately, he still has those imps. Sorry. Okay, he says sorry one more time. Put this apple on your head. Okay, implosion again. No. Okay, iron beak. Dark bomb. Wow, he's going for like the total domination. Lightning storm would be so good. Fortunately, we don't run it. Oh, taunt totem value. Let's see what he does. He's got enough stuff to clear our board for days. This is going to come in down to maybe he gets greedy and keeps tapping, and we get Doom Hammer Rockbiter. Actually, if we get Doom Hammer Rockbiter, we just win anyway. That's pretty good. Cannon, not bad. Okay, all right. He did tap. All right, losing some of the imps. It's good for us. We have no way. To, we have. Do we already use? We already used Earthshock, I think. Or was that the last game? Oh, I see. Void terror kind of thing. Oh yeah, we're in bad trouble. Dang. Alright, well, the Zapomatic play clearly did not benefit us how much it needed to. That's probably gave me his Doomguard. 
Well played. That's fine. We went two and one. Mech Shaman. I've got the beast You've got to draw your cards. This guy runs a weird zoo. Oh, like a bunch of tech cards. It's interesting. I guess it worked. Him killing that power mace is pretty important. Okay. Well, it, it, I hate when people say sorry like that, but anyway, two and one. The deck is good if it draws properly and you get some R and Jesus action going for sure. But thanks again for watching this video, guys. Really appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And more than anything, please check out HearthstoneChampion.com. Great website I'm a part of. I really enjoy working with everyone on the site. Great group of guys bringing some really cool content for the community free of charge. We also offer a coaching service for new and intermediate level players. So if, you, if you're watching this video, you know somebody that uh, is new to the game and wants some coaching for a very fair price and uh, get a high quality experience, refer him there, uh, please, him or her, and uh, enjoy the, uh, the experience in that whole website. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.